Hi, it's Vicky here and today I will be creating 10 different cards using this Simon Says Stamp April Card Kit. But first let's take a look at what's inside. It comes with this uh, jar of uh, black embossing powder, a pack of uh, plastic paper clips, so I'm going to open them up so you can see the variety in different colors and shapes. There is also a stamp set with flowers and uh, birthday wishes, a pack of stickers and uh, I am going to open it up so you can see the variety here as well. Uh, you, you get words, flowers, hearts, labels, banners and even uh, square stickers like these ones. In the kit you will also find 6x6 six six pattern papers. These are double sided. I'm going to browse them through so you can see the colors and the shapes and uh, those pattern papers come with uh, many different images that you can cut out to create uh, rectangles or um, squares and I'm going to show you great ideas on how you can use them and make the most out of those pattern papers and also you get five different cardstocks as always I am uh, going to put everything back and I'm going to use those uh, five cardstocks to create 10 card bases, so I'm basically going to cut them out in half and have 10 different uh, card bases ready to go. And here are all my card bases, two from each color. And before I decorate them, just to let you know that there is a giveaway running on my blog for a chance to win this card kit. Make sure to visit my blog and enter your details. You will find a link to my blog down below in the description area and uh, the giveaway is running until Sunday 3rd of April. For my first card I am going to be using this pattern paper and I am going to cut out the first panel, the one with the many colorful words. And from the back I am going to cut out that XOXO strip. Now from this pattern paper I'm going to cut out a thin strip of uh, yellow stripes and uh, now all I have to do is to basically use my tape adhesive at the back and uh, assemble my card. I'm going to add that thin strip of paper at the back of my big panel and uh, I am going to stick that the XOXO strip uh, directly on my card base. I am working on the black card base now. The yellow thin uh, striped uh, paper is uh, going to help uh, those two panels separate from each other and uh, it is going to help this panel pop even more. I am using one of those plastic paper clips to add a little bit of embellishment and I am going to stick that directly on top of my card base by using some foam tape at the back. This is going to add a little bit of dimension. And my first card is uh, ready, quick and simple. So let's move on to the second card. For this card I am going to be using bits and pieces from those two pattern papers. First of all I am going to cut out this rectangle that says be a splash of color in a world, in a black and white world I believe. So just because this is all about black and white and uh, a pop of color I am going to use this pattern paper and cut out only the images that are in black and white. And you will see that the end result is going to be very modern looking and very graphic design looking and uh, I think it's great for masculine cards as well. I ended up with many black and white triangles which I am going to use to create my mosaic. I'm also cutting out some of uh, the edges from my main sentiment. I have used a ruler and a pencil to draw a line there which I am going to follow and I will go ahead and stick all those triangles uh, there in uh, no particular order, I am just going to create a mosaic. Remember that uh, th in this series where I try to create 10 cards out of uh, one card kit, I am trying to keep every card simple and I try to use only supplies included in the kit. This time I only used a couple of uh, white uh, card stocks as well as uh, a couple of dies. So I think I used the most out of the kit without using many many more supplies. So now I have finished, I used my scissors to cut out the excess. As a finishing touch I am going to uh, tie a bow using a white string 
And uh, just to make sure that my string is not going to slide, I am going to create two notches. So I used my pencil to uh, mark where I want those notches to be, but I can't see them really, so I need to use uh, a white gel pen. And uh, now I'm going to use my crop dial to create the notches only at the edges. And uh, then I can secure the string and tie a bow. I'm going to use my scissors to cut out the excess string. And that finishes my card. So let's move on to the next card. For this card, I am going to use this pattern paper and with my paper trimmer, I will cut out all those Polaroids. So for this card, I'm going to use only four of those Polaroids, but you see that I end up having many, many more to replicate the design. I'm just uh, curling up the edges to add a little bit of dimension on my card. And I'm going to stick them down by using foam tape at the back. This is going to add a little bit of dimension that I love. So I am just eyeballing it. I haven't uh, measured anything, but I think I did pretty good and they are pretty much centered and lined up. I am also going to use the stickers and um, stick some of those words in some of the Polaroids to embellish them. And actually I have used my scissors to cut out a um, fish tail on some of them. And you can see that when I am creating 10 different cards out of one card kit, I am trying to keep everything simple because uh, this way I will uh, not end up not having many supplies for the last cards. And I am going to show you the leftovers. You will see that I will be having many, many leftovers. Now to finish off the card, I am just using some glossy accents on some of uh, the card's elements, such as the heart, the camera lens, I think I will be adding some on the flowers as well as on the white polka dots. I am going to leave this card at the side to dry and I will move on to the next card. You will see photos of the finished cards at the end of the video. And here is another pattern paper that uh, you can cut out many rectangles out of and I am going to show you how I will be using one of them. So I am uh, going to stick uh, the um, sticker with a typewriter just next to the saying and that says uh, thinking of you and I'm going to cut out the strip just making it a little bit smaller. I'm going to use this die to cut out a tag and uh, again I'm using uh, that uh, striped uh, white and uh, yellow pattern paper. And I'm going to stick uh, that uh, embellishment that I have just created on top of my tag. I'm going to embellish it a little bit more with some more stickers, like uh, this uh, pink uh, heart and uh, the flowers, as well as one of those uh, circles that says love. Also, I want to stick that uh, flower sticker uh, with uh, foam tape at the back and uh, make it a little bit dimensional. So I don't know if uh, you could see that, but I have used my powder tool to add a little bit of powder at the back and remove that stickiness. So now I'm sticking it down with foam tape. I'm going to stick one more sticker at the top. And now I am going to create my hole there with my crop dial. I'm also going to add a gold uh, eyelet, secure it with my crop dial, and my tag is pretty much finished. I'm just going to thread some um, string. I get asked a lot how much time it takes me to create those 10 cards. Well, I don't uh, do them in one take, that's for sure. I finished those in three evenings and uh, I believe you can tell since I am changing outfits and you can probably see that uh, I have different sleeves from uh, cart to cart. So anyway, I have cut out uh, this uh, panel using um, one of the pattern papers. I'm going to stick it at uh, the top of the white cardstock. And I also made sure that my, my yellow panel was slightly smaller than my card base. I always like to have that uh, frame around because I think uh, they make your cards look more professional and more finished. So all I have to do now is to stick the tag on top by using foam tape. So let's move on to the next card. 
Now this card is super easy. I'm going to use my scissors and cut out this speech balloon. So I'm just going to follow the line. I am uh, going to stick that on top of a white cardstock, that's uh, just a scrap piece of white cardstock. And uh, I'm going to cut out, leaving a white border. I usually go ahead and use my scissors directly to cut out the border, but I will show you a tip because I get a lot of questions on how to leave a nice border that is um, pretty much the same uh, width all around. Just use your pencil and then follow along with your scissors. Now I did that just because I wanted to stick it on this um, very busy pattern paper and I wanted to make sure that uh, this is going to pop. I believe that the combination of this pattern paper on top of a, a red cardstock is really really sweet. I have cut out just a, um, a panel and I have sticked that on top of my card base in an angle just to give it a little bit of, more of an interest since I am keeping uh, this card uh, very very simple. I'm going to stick the speech balloon on uh, the very top uh, corner of my card and I'm going to stick that with uh, foam squares at the back. The speech balloon says be happy, be bold, be bright, be you. And I think that the combination of this beautiful pattern paper with a bold uh, card base is just perfect. I am going to add something at the bottom and uh, you can see that uh, on these uh, videos I go back again and again on those dies, the tag, the scalloped edges and the rectangles and I think that those dies are really versatile and uh, I think they are worth the investment since uh, you can uh, use them again and again in any style of cards. So I have created this white uh, scalloped edge which I just uh, am sticking it down at the very bottom of my pattern paper to give it just a little bit of interest. To finish off my card I am using uh, again my glossy accents over that uh, speech balloon which is going to make it look as a pre-made uh, embellishment once it's dry. So let's move on to the next card. For this card I'm going to use those square stickers. My card base is going to be the pink one and I have already cut out a panel out of white cardstock. So I'm going to pick uh, three different um, square stickers and I am staying uh, more to the uh, pale blues and pinks. So I am going to stick those stickers at, uh, directly on top of my white panel by using foam squares to add a little bit of dimension and that is why I am removing again the stickiness from the back by using my powder tool. I'm just applying a little bit of powder there. This is the tool that uh, I usually use for my embossing but it's great for removing the stickiness out of uh, any sticker that you have. So now I can add my foam squares and stick them down. I am going to create a row, stick them one on top of the other uh, on one side of my panel. If you are not confident with eyeballing them, you can always use a ruler just to make sure that they are nice and straight. And again I am keeping my card simple. I am going just to stamp the sentiment. For the sentiment I am going to use the clear stamp set from the kit and uh, I will stamp uh, the saying that says birthday wishes. I'm using black ink and stamp it at the bottom of my card. Now all that's left to do is to stick that panel on top of my pink cardstock. I'm using some uh, tape adhesive and my card is finished. So let's move on to the next card. I have cut out a strip of paper from one of those pattern papers that is full of uh, small little images and I'm going to stick it as a border on one side of my card base. I'm going to cut out the excess paper with my scissors and here is how you make the most out of your stickers. I am just going to use the black border, which you would normally throw away, as a thin strip of black paper on top of my card. And I think that this thin black uh, strip of paper gives more definition to my border and uh, helps them pop even more against that red. For my sentiment, I'm going to use another sticker that says hello. And my card is pretty much finished. I'm just going to add a star. And now let's move on to card number 8. 
For this card, I am going to do some uh, embossing and I am going to stamp uh, the flowers and along with uh, the leaves at, uh, directly at my card base. I'm using Versa marking, so you cannot probably see too, ma too much of uh, how it looks at the moment, but I'm going to add uh, some clear embossing powder on top and uh, heat set it with my tool. This is going to end up with a nice tone on tone look on my card base and at the same time it's going to give some shine on my background. As a focal point I have cut out this piece of paper and this comes from a pattern paper that was full of uh, those uh, rectangles. The sentiment says love as much as you breathe, love as much as you live. I'm going to stick it on top of a white panel and that is going to help it pop even more. And now all that's left to do is to stick that directly on my card base. And you can really use the exact same design with uh, the rest of the rectangles that you get out of those pattern papers. So now let's move on to the next card. For this card I will be using those two Polaroid pieces. These are uh, leftovers from a card I have created previously. Again I need some dimension so I am using some foam tape at the back. I'm going to stick them on top of white cardstock that I have cut out and uh, that is uh, slightly smaller than a card base. All my cards, by the way, are standard cards that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And the idea here is to create a cluster at the center of uh, this panel. I'm going to double up on uh, foam tape on one side just to make sure that everything is nicely leveled. And uh, now I am going to use some uh, stickers to embellish everything all around. So I'm going to stick uh, the camera, three little hearts that come in uh, the sticker set, as well as a round uh, sticker that says love. Also, I am going to stick uh, some of those uh, stars and I'm trying to tackle them uh, behind uh, those Polaroids. And for the sentiment, I am going with a bigger sticker that says XO XO. I am using tape adhesive at the back and I am going to stick this panel on my blue card base. Again, notice how my panel is slightly smaller than my card base, so I have that uh, nice border all around. To finish off my card, I am using some clear Wink of Stella glitter pen on the hearts as well as on the camera lens. And let's move on to the last card. For my last card, I am going to do some splashes on this uh, white uh, cardstock. I have used just a little bit of uh, pale blue acrylic paint, diluted with water, and uh, with a very thin brush, I am adding some splashes, just a few here and there. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to make sure that this is nice and dry with my heat gun. And again, I am going to use a piece of pattern paper. And this comes out of those pattern papers that were included in the kit that uh, they were full of uh, small rectangles. I am also going to embellish that by using one of those uh, plastic paper clips that were included in the kit. And I have used some uh, tape adhesive at the back to add a little bit of dimension. And this is where I decided to add those little uh, sticker flowers inside the basket of uh, the bike. But you will see that later on I decided to remove them because I thought uh, it uh, made uh, the card too busy. I'm also going to add this um, cluster of flowers. This is one of the stickers as well. Now this is where I have removed uh, the flowers and I think I like that better. I used tape adhesive at the back and stick that on top of my last uh, blue card base. For the sentiment, I am using one of those black stickers that says it's a beautiful life. And to finish it off, I am just going to tie a bow around that uh, plastic paper clip. And now let's take a quick look on all the cards as well as the leftovers.
So now leftovers. I have uh, many, many more uh, plastic paper clips. Of course, I have the stamps and as well as um, the embossing powder, the black embossing powder that I never used. You can see that I had plenty of stickers left. I have three whole 6x6 papers that I haven't used and many more uh, rectangles that I can use to replicate some of the designs. Some big panels and some squares such as those Polaroids and many more sentiments in squares and rectangles. Which means that with all those leftovers you can make even more cards with this kit. And these were the cards for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired, and if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close-up photos of all the cards that I have created today. And if you are not one of my subscribers, consider hitting the subscribe button, because this is the way to tell me that you love my videos and you want to see more. And if you need more inspiration, here are two more videos for you. Thank you all for watching!